Hello. Today we are going to do episode one of Nick HQ. And so, what am I going to do? Is that I have? I'm, this will be the first time that I will do a Nick HQ from scratch using ATB. So it'll be a learning discover, uh, learning curve for me, for y'all. If you have any information about what I can do better with options or whatnot, please let me know. Okay, I've already opened the uh, uh, HQ, and uh, I'm just gonna go through the options real fast so you know where I'm coming from, and that way, if you have any questions, you can direct it in a comment sense manner. Uh, just keep in mind that I've seen a lot of chatter on the forums and people get nasty because one person's not doing the option like they want or make HQ is not doing something they think it should or is doing something they think it should just know that all these options are to cater to your whim so if I don't have something on and you think I need to you can tell me about it and keep in mind, I may or may not want to keep. I, I may or may not want it on. So just for that's just for your information. All right, I want to call this group the Zombie Killers. And I'll do a backstory offline and, and and plug it in, so you know where I'm I'm coming from. Uh, the faction is Freedom Federation. It is going to be a Merc group, but it's going to be solely dedicated and loyal to this new faction that I have built in my alternate reality type I think it starts in 3030 alright some of the options uh, maintenance I still like maintenance I know a lot of people hate it I do it for 30 days every 30 days and then I make sure that if it is a F quality uh, piece of equipment and the maintenance person screws up then it drops down to the next one. It doesn't go into my repair bin to where I have to repair it and spend extra time on that. And I'll only get into my repair thing when it finally breaks totally past the A quality, which is the worst quality you can have. All right. Now this, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this delivery system. I think it should be based off of several factors, like where your factory is, if the closest factory is in enemy territory. Can you get that that one through third channel party, whatnot, and just exactly where you're at? You know, if you're in the middle of uh, a forest and downpouring rain and stuff like that, and you're bogged down in your mission, are you going to be able to get that equipment? Should there be modifiers and all that? Not just straight up, hey, you're going to roll, and it's going to be four days plus the dice roll. Whatever, it doesn't. It is what it is. I'm just going to keep it like that, just because I have no 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 thoughts on it, other than what I just said. I will have administration do the acquisition. Uh, that way, it stays away from the text. The text, when they um, get plussed up and their XP points is due to to actually doing technician stuff and not buying and buying equipment. Tech limits. It's going to be by the units you know, by parts of, uh, by the year, and I'm not putting clan on there until 3055. Then they'll be able to buy clan if this unit's still around. Person, I didn't really change much here. Finance, I'm marked all of them except for a couple. Mercenaries, I'm going to put it as a F M N R. Uh, there's a lot of discussion again on the forums about this particular tab. Um, I don't have much to say for it. Maybe later on when I get so big and I got, you know, a thousand member unit for a regiment size, I might swap back over to the TOE and then move this down to a one or a point five. Because five percent for that big unit is a lot of money. I'll just take it, you know, day by day. And when this this payment starts getting outrageous, I think then I'll I'll look and see if it if it'll change between these two. Alright. Experience I'm gonna put it at five XP because this experience level is really high. 
Alright, and it's high because on the, I guess the bot, I click on these. So see if I click off that and it's at the previous thing, the experience is now, well, it's supposed to, it's supposed to change back, but it's not. So, these buttons are not working too well. 5-5. Five, five. I don't know, they're not working too well. But I'm going, I guess, I'm going to use the ATB rules. And uh, I'm going to put 5, so I still have to kill 20 units before I can get to this level if I don't spin it. All the way up. Alright, skills. I'm gonna leave that the same. I clicked on all special duties. So, uh, our special abilities. I like special abilities. And then skill randomization. I didn't touch that. Rank system. I'm gonna do custom. It's based off the American military. You know, one, once. Oh, one thing is going to be Army, one's based off the Navy, one's based off the Air Force, and one's based off the Marines. So, and then I think I got one as a mixture. I'm going to have pictures for all of them, and it's going to be general, because there's Mercs, so they're going to have names all over. Pick against the bot for the market type. Now, the gets the bot, since I'm new, I mean, I've tried using this. It was already a campaign that was well established. It messed everything up to where I couldn't quite hit an advanced day. It wouldn't advance. Or it did advance and then all the maintenance people knit, get renewed with their, with their minutes. So this will be the first time I start from scratch, like I said earlier. And, uh, we'll see if we have any problems and we'll deal with it together as we go on. I hate retirement roles. I hate where, you know, you, uh, you do a mission and then Three or four people retire, and one of them's like your your VCOM or your LCOM. So I'm not going to deal with that. That's not it. I'm not going to double enter in me because I'm one of those that have a hard time with the bot. I still lose against the bot. So that's all the the options for the campaign. All right now we're going to get into building. Um, the actual Merc unit. And I have this spreadsheet for the ATB rules 2.30 that you can find on the forums. I'll put that link up in the YouTube website in case you don't have it. Um, I try to follow it. You know, some of it it's supposed to translate into the into HQ because they do have references to HQ on here. Uh, as a work in progress, this is not final with the rules, and they're constantly updating it, uh, waiting for the next release of the uh, of the next. Uh, uh, what am I thinking? Of the next um, version. All right. So on the company creation tab of the Excel spreadsheet, it says that I'm going to start with a company of 12 mech warriors and 12 support personnel. All right? I'm going to hire these people, and then I'll do the then I'll do the um, buying the mech units because that's going to be based off of where these people are from. All right, so the uh, the thing is, is that I'm going, the only question and the only problem I ever have with these rules um, is the commander, because the first mech warrior is the company commander, right? So I always think of the company commander as one, not the most experienced person, but one of the most experienced people. So if I roll and I get green mech warrior I'm not going to put him as the commander 
just not going to do it. So, but if I get a regular guy or a veteran, and of course elite, he'll be my commander. There's several ways to do it. I can roll the dice against the chart that is in the Excel spreadsheet. I can go to market. I can say I want to hire all 12 people right now. Hire them. Alright, and as you see, there's a nice wide, well, it's kind of a little off, but sometimes you get some veterans, but I got one elite, a bunch of regular, some green, and ultra green. Alright, I can, I can do it that way too. Or, I'm going to delete these guys. Because I can. Or I can go to the marketplace and do individual. Make it work. Alright, 3-5, that's a, a regular, so I'm going to use this person, I don't like the name though. It's a girl, I want something, no. Stacy, there we go. Alright, now I need to, in the rules it says the commander gets one, plus one bonus for gunnery and piloting. So I'm going to go X to 6. And add that. All right. Then it also says I get plus two points randomly distributed among leadership tactics and strategy. Now I don't know how you personally are going to randomize these things, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and give her two leadership because she's the boss. As you notice, HQ already put tactics on there, so that's cool. All right, and then. I'm going to roll to see what where she's from. All right, and there's a table in here to show it. And what it does is add some flavor. So each mech warrior, uh, if I roll and they do have a mech that they come with them, then I'm going to choose a mech from their nationality instead of just picking a mech and just be done with it. So it adds a little bit of flavor, a little bit more mixture of the mechs, I think. Uh, whereas I'm not all stuck with one um, one faction. I have a little mix to begin with. Alright. And she's going to be a founding member. I'm going to bring out my dice here. And it says I'm supposed to roll a 20 sided dice. So 20 dot one dice on a roll. Now one is for free. So she's out. Alright. I got the family member. That's okay. And now I'm going to give her a rank of lieutenant colonel. And then I might come back to her in a moment and you'll see why. And she's still a regular. That's fine. Next one, 4-4, four, four. that's fine. Uh, for the next three mech warriors that we hire, they're going to be your core uh, leadership for each lance. So <clears throat> I'm going to, for the core leadership, I mean for those command uh, officers, I get plus one to either gunnery or piloting. So I'm going to go into assisted statistics give him a gunnery and then he gets one for leadership tactics or strategy I'll give him a leadership make him a founding member and I'm going to give him a rank of captain okay and that's it all right, next to 4-4 four, four again. Oh, look who's picture. I'm going to have to change that picture just because uh, we all know who that is. And that's kind of strange. Oh, look at that stuff. Nothing. Okay. I'm going to go in here. Changes gunnery. 
Oh, you know, I forgot to do on the other did. I'll have to go back to it. Leadership. Family member. Uh, I'm not good with names, so I need at least the first thing that I can say. Okay. I'm going to close them out for right now. Oh, I didn't hire him. Oh, well. Now I go back to Stacy. Did I put her? I did her. Right, I got to put this guy. I got to roll. This is six. So that means he is from Periphery again. Alright, now I'll go back. I'm going to hire the next core leadership 6-5. No. That's fine. Alright. 6-5 is like green. You can't have, really, you're going to have one of your officer, core officers as a green. It might be a little cheating, misleading. I don't know. It's just common sense to me. Uh, once I pick these four, individuals than the rest of the mech, mech warriors, you know, if I get all greens, that's fine. And just these core guys, I want to at least be regular or higher. Okay, so I'm going to regenerate. Oh. Screw up. Okay. What was I supposed to There we go. I hate when I do that. I always click on the wrong number. It screws everything up. Leadership one family member and a roll. Thirteen is from the Capellan. And I'll give her a captain. Okay, the last one. Five, four, that's fine. It, so where is that? So it'd be a five, three. Leadership. Family member. No roll. Nine is Larian. captain spot. Alright, All right, so now the next eight guys, I can continue doing this or you could also just go into that bulk thing and hire eight people. I mean, and that's all I'm going to do. Just for time's sake, make it fast and gritty. Oops. Personnel. See, now I'm messing up. Uh, Alright. I'm going to hire eight more. Make the lawyers. I'm not going to give them rank yet. Alright. Okay, I got a veteran, a bunch of regulars, and green. Oh, she's still green. Well. I didn't notice that. Oh well. Shouldn't that be green. I thought 3-5 wouldn't be a green. Huh. Okay. So this veteran, I'm going to give this command sergeant. Oh, no. command sergeant major. Big cheese. And then I'll leave this one a mass sergeant because you always have to have mass sergeant screw everything up. And then I'm going to give two staff sergeants a corporal. And then, yay, some privates. Ooh, wow. All right, and then I got to go back here and roll, see where they're coming from. 
A 15 is from the Federation Sons. Next one. 16, Federation Sons. Next one, 14 is Capella. Next one, 10 is Galarian. Next one with a creepy face. Holy crap. Three tens straight in a row. In a row. Um, it's kind of unusual. There we go. Darn nice. Maybe I need a blow on. Can't have three ten. I can't have a fourth ten, can I? Nope. A one. For free. Last but not least, a 19 Comstar. How the heck did I get a green Comstar? Very unusual. Alright, so there's my mech units. Alright, the last thing I want to do for this video is hire my technician Mech Tech is elite, so I'm going to give him a command sergeant because I already have a uh, command sergeant major. Uh, got three veterans, and then I all get him staff sergeants. This dude is just cool, and he's a veteran, so I'm going to give him a captain. These regular Mech Techs. I'm going to give the sergeant. This mech, green mech tech is going to be private. The green doctor. Yay, a green doctor. Don't you feel safe now? I feel so much safer as a green doctor. Second with tech, he just came out of college. And this mech tech, ultra green, is going to be private basic. So there's your ranks. All right, and that's it. I want to do. That's all I'm going to do for today. The next episode, we are going to get the mix, and I'll show you how we're going to get the mix based on what country or what faction they're from. You know, get everything set up, and then we'll go from there. Thank you for viewing.
I, I hope everything was okay, and I'll see you later.